Oh, 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 oh. Hey there, Zigzackers. Perhaps some of you remember a very famous episode of Friends where Roz, one of the protagonists, wants to explain the story of Hanukkah to his son. And to do so, he dresses up as a holiday armadillo. Today, we will tell you the origin of this festivity. More than 2,300 years ago, Alexander the Great had conquered, among many other territories, Judea. After his death in 323 before Christ, the empire was left in the hands of its generals, who came into conflict with each other. This struggle lasted for more than a century, where the Seleucid Greeks emerged victorious and took control of the region. In 175 before Christ, the Seleucid king Antiochus IV Epiphanes came to power and forced the Jews to join the Hellenistic cause. They captured the Holy Temple of Jerusalem and desecrated it by setting up an altar to Zeus. The king forbade the Jewish faith and ordered the worship of the Greek gods. Some historians relate that those who defy this prohibition were whipped with rods, torn to pieces, or crucified. If they found any sacred book contrary to their religion, they destroyed it, and those who possessed it suffered the same fate. Horrified at the cruelty with which the Jewish people were being treated, a priest named Mattathias and his sons rebelled. After the death of the priest, his son Judah the Maccabee took his father's place in the fight and led the Jewish people in many victories over the Seleucids. In 164 before Christ, Judah recaptured Jerusalem and restored the temple that had been desecrated, rededicating it to the Jewish religion. The Maccabean revolt, as it came to be known, continued to finally drive out the Seleucids in 160 before Christ. Hanukkah, also known as the Festival of Lights or Luminaries, is a Jewish holiday commemorating a miracle of light that occurred when Judah rededicated the temple to the Hebrew god. According to the Talmud, which is one of the sacred texts of Judaism, the Seleucids only left a vial of oil intact, which would keep the temple chandelier burning for a day. However, it burned for eight days, long enough for the Jews to get hold of more oil. This miracle became the basis for a celebration to thank God and celebrate the victory of light over darkness. Hanukkah became very popular in the 20th century due to its proximity to the Christian Christmas. This holiday offered Jews the opportunity to participate in celebrations with the delivery of gifts and joy without renouncing their religious beliefs. It is celebrated on the 25th day of Kislev, the ninth month of the Hooper calendar, which usually falls between the end of November and mid-December. This year, it is celebrated from December the 18th to the 26th. For eight days, the candles are lit in a menorah, which is a candelabra that has space for nine candles, one for each night and one more candle called shamash, which is in the middle and is used to light the rest. Each night a candle is lit, lessons are recited, songs are sung, and gifts are exchanged to commemorate a miracle at the temple over 2,000 years ago. Did you know the origin of this celebration, TikTokers? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.